Thank you. I think it's like a, it's a direct flight, so I think it's five hours or so to Calgary. Calgary. So, I didn't know, but it's actually Canada Day today. Happy Canada Day, guys. This place is so beautiful. guys have no idea how much I'm freaking out. This place is so beautiful. This is the best part about teaching clinics, going to cool places like this. Doesn't get much better than that. It's like 6.30 in the morning and last time I was here I stayed in like a little cabin. Remember that one with the chickens? Maybe I can link it here or here or something. Anyway, this time I'm staying in an RV. It's awesome though. I would totally live in an RV. I kind of wish, I was talking with Pia yesterday about how that dressage shows don't go like the jumpers do where they go stay places for a long time for a long time i i definitely still need coffee <clears throat> check it out though nice bathroom shower shower is great when did anyone in an rv ever say that bedroom kitchen. It's nice. All right, I got to go eat breakfast, then teach my clinic. So, barn is down below, down there. You can't see, <laughs> but um, I'll teach down there and I don't know that I can get any footage today, but 
I'll try. I'll try to get some footage. So this is the barn. I'm in West Jet. My flight leaves in like an hour and a half. Go find a spot to hang out. So this trip, I connect through San Francisco on the way home. Wish I had a day in San Francisco, that'd be fun. I like that city. This clinic was, was really good. It's like one of the most high performance clinics I have. And uh, Pia has some really, really nice horses and I wish I had video to show you guys, but I don't, which totally sucks, but um, one thing I was really working on is in hand working on the connection I don't know if I've shown you guys like how to hold the reins in hand that the outside rein comes over the neck I can hold it there and then the inside rein I hold next to the bit and just the importance of working on the walk and the connection there and that I can change the tempo a little forward and back in the walk and work on that connection. And it's, it kind of cements in my mind how in-hand work is not any different than under saddle, riding under saddle, training under saddle. Uh, we still have to work and prioritize the right things that we get our horses through the body and working in the right way in the connection and that connection enables us to get the Piaf Passage. If we fixate only on the Piaf Passage and how expressive it can be, fixate on the hind, just the hind leg, um, we run into problems. And so the connection is everything. Like it's so important. And if we have a good connection, um, we, can, we can go anywhere. And so I was actually watching um, some videos of top riders and really top riders a lot of them use this kind of walk and then halt and then controlling that and transitioning into that PF passage that's where I want to go with my training that I get ultimate control and a really correct connection um, but anyway, I wanted to talk to you guys just like this because I didn't have footage from the clinic, but hopefully um, in the future I can get more on that um, and talk about the connection in hand. I know I've talked about the leg lifting and where to touch them and how to get that going, but I want to talk more about handling the reins and managing the position of the frame and just how important that is in hand so anyway as you guys can probably tell I'm like tired and exhausted and put my headphones on and go to sleep hopefully I don't miss my flight <laughs> all right guys hello Good, how are you grande ice latte Thank 
give him. 